All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our topic again about Islam, and we, we just start by answering somebody in the text. Somebody in the text he said, I am a Christian and I do not agree with everything that what CP says would regard the Christian faith. I think it's important for me to say this. I mean, who cares if you agree with me or not? The important is, is what you agree above or about is right or wrong? Can you tell me what you don't agree about? Or you just like to throw some balls in the ground and you escape? If you don't agree with me with something, let me know. Call me. Let us see if you already have the courage even to say to me, I don't agree with something. I like to hear it. Otherwise, go play with some kids in your size. Uh, as you see in front of us, I have an image for uh, a nice uh, building, uh, builded, built, you know, was built in India. It's called Taj Mahal. It's very famous. And, uh, you know, uh, this place is a tourist target for many but you see you as a tourist you do not know really how bad this place is today you go and you take selfie in the front of this place and you take your camera with you and you take a snapshot and you take a picture with the family but this place Is a very evil bad place people have been tortured they cut even their hands everyone who worked there they cut their hands so they will not be able ever to build a place like this ever again by the Muslim ruler but what people care for is to take something selfie next to a beautiful building this is all what they count but nobody want to count how evil was this place in certain time and certain day. Uh, I have to answer this, uh, this uh, the person who claimed to be Christian. He is saying, Christians are not sent to hell for sin. Jesus took our punishment. Thank you for your work that you do. That is a very false, stupid answer. That is not what the Christianity teach. Jesus did not take your punishment because you might still go to hell. And anyone he says to you, just because you are a Christian, you will go to heaven. He is a foolish and he is a fool and you do not know the Bible. It's a stupid to say that we Christians, just because we believe in Jesus, we have a license for sin. This is what you are trying to say. Actually, this is what the Muslim tried to spread as a lie about us. That the Christians believe, oh, Jesus, he took their sins so they can go and do, have uh, whatever they want. They can be drug dealers, they can be prostitutes, they can be etc. They can be child molester like Muhammad. They can do anything because Jesus took their sin. This is false. Don't fabricate and don't claim to be Christian when you believe in this. Your sin is something you will pay for. If we sin time and time again, God will punish us. So why you say that we are not going to go to hell for sin? So you will go to hell for what then? For you are being a good boy? In a second, you change your mind and you give me a different answer. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who does his will. So you don't do his will. You don't deserve his mercy. Simple and clear. Don't go there. Now you are trying to, you know, to take me away from my topic, so I have to put you out. You can leave my page, my friend. I have no time for a stupid talk. Anyone he tried to make a Christianity a signature for sin, or the teaching of Jesus is an excuse for sin. He is false and he is coming from the devil.
you belong to Jesus, you do what Jesus do. You don't do what he do. You are a sinner and you better work in yourself. I'm not saying I'm not a sinner. Don't take me wrong. But don't give false teaching about Christ. That is not Christianity. That is the devil. Spreading false news about words Jesus never said. We are not going to be saved because we deserve to be saved by his grace because all of us we are sinners and the second you make sin that's it you are a sinner i mean you cannot that's it there is a crack in the glass you cannot repair it but because of his grace and his mercy and because we promise that we will do better tomorrow and we do work in ourselves and because we forgive to others the same as they forgive to us and because we accept him and we ask him for help and he is our hope and the only salvation we have because of all those you will be saved but there is nowhere in the Bible it says that just Jesus paid for our sin which is an open license for sin that's not what Jesus said and what he is about he paid for the sin of all mankind that does not mean that mankind they have a license for sin very stupid statement using the true word of God which means the word of God is true that Jesus he paid for our sin but not that the meaning people they try to make it look like and actually the Muslims they love to make it look like this the Muslims in their mosque they lie about us they say Christians oh they say they say Jesus he paid for the sin he paid his blood so they are you know it's okay so they can go and do whatever they want this is absolutely false the teaching of Jesus is there we can read tons of verses. All of it is about not to do sin. And the tree who don't give a fruit, and that is the fruit of Jesus, is going to be cut off and thrown into hellfire. Now we go to our topic. Taj Mahal is a very great example of the deception of Islam. It looked like a nice building, good architect, white stones, nice drawing in it, nice building. I mean, how you can complain about such a thing? But the fact is, a lot of suffering, and many people, they lost their family, their children, Fathers, they never saw their family again. They were kidnapped from their houses just because they have skills. They brought them from everywhere to work in this building. And after they finished this building, they cut their hands. And you can imagine how you can die slowly after they cut your hands. How you can eat. How you can make a living. What you can do for a living after that. You are no one. Always, the Muslims, they try to present Islam the same as they try to present to you this building. Islam is religion for all mankind. Islam is religion for of peace. Islam is teach a, uh, teach to love a humanity. <laughs> so today we are going to discuss some of those lies Muslims they always try. To provide to us and there's many fool they might fail into the trap of the devil the devil my friend he know what he do and he is best in what he do for he is the devil and Muslims they practice exactly what the devil told them to do this is an Islamic page was posted by a Muslim for me Those are 10 things about Islam you should learn, according to Muslims. Islam is a religion of peace. But yet Muhammad, he killed tens and tens of thousands by his sword. He slaughtered more than 900 human beings after they surrendered to him, not before. 
after they surrender not before you know what does that mean that mean they put down their weapon those people and they thought that this man as he claimed to be a prophet of God he will not harm the prisoners he slaughtered them by his hands according to the hadith there was a woman laughing she was laughing because she is going crazy she is losing her mind her family was slaughtered in front of her one of the men of Muhammad he heard her laughing so he called her he said hey you come here and Aisha she said this woman she was laughing so hard even though she knew she is going to be executed and why she knew that she is going to be executed I thought Islam don't kill women as Muslims they claim well they kill and they killed a lot of women and actually Muhammad himself he cut a woman two pieces and she is over the age of 80 he cut her alive the same as Isis we saw them in the video tying a person when he's alive between two tanks and splitting him to pieces they are just practicing what Muhammad did to a woman her, her name is Umm Qurfa an old woman who Muhammad split her to pieces and she was alive that just because this woman she refused Muhammad to force himself on others as a prophet of God so Islam is a religion of peace, but Muhammad he sent letters to kings saying, convert to Islam, surrender to Islam, or I will kill you. Or else. Islam means peace, but Muhammad said, attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. And the lies continue. And by the way, let me open my Skype in case a Muslim, he want to get me busted. If there is any Muslim there, he is thinking for improve me line. If there is, if there is any Muslim, he have the courage to say to me, "This is not a true. I'm going to prove you wrong, and I'm going to show everybody life that you are not telling the truth." Anybody there? I challenge you. You see, here I go live in purpose, so you can call me. And get me busted not after I finish the video and the broadcast and then you start posting for me funny false reference have different meaning and different stories I am sure you Christians Jewish Hindus Buddhas you heard the Muslims many time saying to you this verse let me quote this verse for you <clears throat> all right this is the verse muslims they quote everywhere Non-stop. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. Ta'muruna bil ma'roof wa tanhawna anil munkar. I'm not going to read the rest now. I'm just going to stop here because this is what the Muslims quote. You are the best nation between all mankind. Who? The Muslims. And why they are the best nation? Let us read the translation, first translation done by Muslims. You are the best people evolved for mankind. Who? Muslims. You see, the, the Muslim, they say to you, uh, you know, the Nazi, they think they are the best people of mankind. Huh? They are fascist. Uh, they think they are blue or blood. It is Muslims who believe in that. This is why Muslims always, they look down at Hindus, Buddhas, Christians, Jewish. And actually, the same verse we are reading from, you will find that there is an insult for the Christians and the Jews. So the Muslims are the best of mankind, 
but the Christians and the Jews are the most perverted between mankind do you see it now when you hear the Quran saying that you are the best of mankind and to do what enjoying what is right and forbidding what is wrong you ask yourself what does that mean let me show you the front translation just to show you how the deception play even more and more you are the best nation the best of the nations raised ever for the benefit the benefit you see the word the benefit when you hear the word the benefit you say man the Muslims are required to bring a benefit for mankind this is what they do the Muslims are there for a reason and that reason is to bring a benefit for who for mankind but my friend the Muslims are people who deceive and I'm, I'm not I'm not insulting they lie to you when they quote this verse for you the benefit of the Muslims for mankind that they will go and they will bring you as a slave they will capture you the same as those poor people they were captured to build Taj Mahal they will bring you like a goat and they will put a chain around your neck and they will force you to build for them and if you want to save yourself help yourself you can convert to Islam because then it's possible that we will not let you die as a slave forever so what is the benefit of mankind and where is the proof of what the Christian Prince is saying maybe Christian Prince is making up stories maybe he don't know what he's talking about I would like to see a Muslim giving me a call if there is any Muslim would like to call me if there is any Muslim there like to call me who is a Muslim voluntarily he would like to prove to everybody here that this Christian Prince is lying this is not true anyone nobody I'm truly disappointed I thought you Muslims you don't agree with me but look like you do agree or maybe you give up you know that you cannot you cannot beat me can you let us see what the hadith says about this verse that the Muslims are the best for the benefit of mankind they are the best for the benefit of mankind what they exactly do what exactly the Muslims do for the benefit of mankind according to this teaching you know the Muslims they will say to you do you know how many Muslim scientists they help the world as an example do you know that Al Jabra 2 is made by a Muslim scientist false Al Jabra 2 is made by somebody or let us say the scientist he is from the Sabian he is not a Muslim and have nothing to do with the Muslims and most of those who they are called scientists in the history of the Middle East or the Persia Iran they were tortured and killed and chased because they called them kuffar in their time they were accused to be atheist suddenly today they are Muslims you know I saw a video that uh, what this guy his name the scientist he just died two days ago or a few days ago anyone can remind me his name is Stephen Stephen something imagine the Muslim they made him Muslim they made this guy he converted to Islam <laughs> anyone anyone he is very well known after he died they make him a Muslim Stephen Hawking okay they made a video that this guy he became a Muslim and actually they made a video a long time ago about him being a Muslim you can search the video right now on YouTube I'm not joking they have no shame there's a guy who used to have uh, a French guy he used to uh, to do like a TV show for the the deep sea uh, diving etc like about the, the ocean 
his name is Captain Costo, something like this. I used to watch him when I was really a kid. And the guy, he died. And then they announced that this guy, he became a Muslim. But when he became a Muslim, an American, he went to the moon. His name is Armstrong. They made him a Muslim. There's a there's an uh, Arabic TV station. It's called Al Hayat. They called this guy, and they asked him, "Is it true that you became a Muslim?" He said, "This is absolutely false." They told him, "Is it true that when you went to the moon, the first voice you heard was Allahu Akbar?" <laughs> Everybody convert to Islam just to serve the purpose of deception. I will not be surprised if the Muslims, after I die, they say Christian Prince, he converted to Islam. You know? Yeah, actually, even al Qazafi, the president of Libya, the previous president who was killed, he said that Shakespeare is a Muslim, and the true name of him, he is a Muslim, and his name is Sheikh Isber. You believe it? Sheikh Isber. Shakespeare became Sheikh Isber? I mean, how far, how far the the madness can go? You know, nice to meet you, Sheikh Isbar. Al Qazafi he said that the word democracy is an Arabic word is coming from bring the chairs, democracy. <laughs> I see. We are the one who made democracy. You are right. We the Arab, we are the one who made democracy. Yeah? Until now, they do not even know how to line to get in the bus. We, the Arab, we made democracy. Who is the crazy here? So what it's what it does mean when the Quran says you are the best nation raised up for benefit of mankind. Let us see what it does mean. Read with me carefully. It is not what the Muslims they say to you. It is not what the Muslims they quote for you. It is what it's meant to be. Abu Huraira, which means the father of the cats, said in the interpretation of Ayah reported, you are the best and this is the campaign of the Prophet, and he learned what he learned from Muhammad directly. You are the best of people ever. You see the word ever? You see the word ever? Yeah. People who they are in Syria, the Mujahideen, they are the best of people ever. ISIS are the best people ever. Who raised up for the benefit of mankind oof, 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 oof. that's deep that's really deep I mean that's amazing the Muslims are the best people ever who raised for the benefit of mankind why what happened chapter 3 verse number 1 10 the best now this is the interpretation the best for mankind are those who bring them with the chains around their necks till they embrace Islam. Oof, 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 oof. Do you see the peaceful, beautiful? Do you see the benefit? I mean, do you like to live without a chain in your neck? No way. Disgusting. Actually, I saw women buying chains and putting them around their necks, and they call it necklace. Come on, face it. All of you like to have a necklace around your neck. The only difference between the necklace you buy and you put it around your neck and the chain of the Muslims, that is a holy chain by the order of Allah to give you the benefit of the mankind, the best nation of the mankind, the Muslims. Be honest. Don't you like to have a chain around your neck? Who don't like to have it? Imagine how disgusting it is, you know, like to be without a chain. Don't you like to have a leech? And the Muslim holding your leech? 
You can go right now and search for the videos of Al Qaeda and ISIS and all the Islamic militant groups in Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, and see how they chain literally people in their necks. Who can deny such a beautiful, peaceful, amazing religion? You cannot. So when the Muslims, they quote for us, or they make an article like the one we saw, speaking Islam as mean peace. Islam is a peaceful, beautiful, wonderful religion. Who can debate that? Islam teaching you to love humanity to the point the Muslims have a duty to go and put a chain around your neck and to bring you as a slave. If you are a female, you are a sex slave. If you are a male, you are a donkey slave. Do you see how much love there? Shall we continue? And here, that proved that Islam means peace. I mean, here we go, we bring you, and we put the chain around your neck, and peace. Hello? Now, lie number three. Islam promotes universal brotherhood. <laughs> Islam promote that. Are you sure? Who is a Muslim wanna call me right now and get me busted? Who is a beautiful, peaceful Muslim is willing to give me a call and show everybody that the Christian prince is not telling the truth. Who want to do that? Any Muslim? Not even one? I'm very, very disappointed. Extremely. Where is the proud one about their religion? The one who posed for me this link or the video which I could not open but there's a link underneath of it why you don't call me right now I want to see my friend how Islam promotes universal brotherhood isn't it the Quran says that the non-believers are animals there is a guy I forgot his name but I think he you know he called himself Dawa something you know he made a video, he lived in the UK. It's not his fault to live in the UK, it's the fault of the stupid people of the UK who allowed him to live there, who gave him a citizenship. He have a video, he stopped in the front of a farm and there's cows behind him. And he was speaking to the Muslims, I wish I can play the video for you. He was saying, brother, sister, brother, sister, do you see those cows? Those cows are more useful than the infigals and the begins rich people and the Britain and, the, and those and the non Muslim people. Those cows, brother, they are more valuable for they are doing their duty, which is to be a cow. Those infidels, they are worse than the animals. And the video is there. I'm not making things up. You can go and search it. He lives in England. Most likely, maybe he don't have a job like most of them. Go in welfare. He have a Mercedes Benz behind him. Made by the Kuffar, the infidels. His phone is made by the non-Muslims. His clothes is made by the non-Muslims. The camera he's recording with is made by the non-Muslims. And he is saying to us that those Kuffar, there's no benefit of them. And the internet he is using is not created by the Muslims. Where is the Muslim Brotherhood? Where where Islam teach universal brotherhood? Let me show you what Islam teach, my friend. I hope Muslims will call us. Do we have any Muslim there? Would like to call? If there is any Muslim,
any beautiful, peaceful Muslim is around in the bushes. Let us see what Islam says. All right. Remember, the article said that Islam teach you or teach the Muslims or teach the world universal brotherhood. Universal brotherhood. So what is verse in front of us? Chapter 3, verse number 28. What this verse says? Let us see the Muslim translation. See, the Muslim translation, not my translation. Let not the believers take for friends or helper and believers. Where is the Muslim brother? Where is the Muslim? Where is the universal brotherhood? Huh? In this article, it says that Islam teach universal brotherhood. Do you see it, Abdul? Let me zoom in. I know you. Most of you are Muslims are blind. Hmm? Because you drink too much camel urine, as the prophet he said. Where is the Muslim? Where is the universal brotherhood? Take not the non-Muslims as a friends. That is universal brotherhood. So if we don't take them as a friends, we take them as what? Enemy. Islam, brother. Brother Sitar. There are many people speak against Islam. As an example. There's a gentleman, his name is a Christian prince. This guy, he is most likely an Arab Christian. He's coming from the Middle East. His English is funny. He doesn't know how to say the word in English correctly. And he wouldn't spoke, he doesn't speak like me. Very clear and spread rain and spray everywhere. If you ask Christian prince to teach you about Islam, he right away will start shooting with his gun, lying that Islam is a bad religion. The truth is, Islam is a very fantastic, beautiful religion. Actually, the only religion come with balls is the religion of Islam. In the religion of Islam, you find balls everywhere. Islam is very beautiful. And if you want my advice, don't listen to Christian things. Especially if you are a female. Because I heard that some Muslim females they send him emails and they are saying to him, we hate you, we hate you, we hate you, so what if your voice is sexy? And this is very appropriate because Muslim women, they have to keep her private part inside the email, not outside the email. Thank you very much. What? Do you have a comment about what Zakir Naik is saying? Muslims what Islam promote universal brotherhood where huh I don't know don't don't worry I speak like him but I don't I don't uh, spray everywhere <laughs> uh, actually I saw in the other day a guy he posted in the text he said how come he is speaking like that and like how he can do it you know my friend it's a it's the gift from Allah brother it's a, the gift from Allah anyway so look at the lies the whole like I mean the whole article is a list of lies not only you cannot take non-believers as a friend in Islam you cannot even take your brother from your parents not only your brother but yet your even father even your father your father the one who you know marry your mother and sleep with her the one who was the reason for you to come to earth and to be exist even that person if he is not a muslim you cannot friend him and we can find that in the quran in chapter 9 verse number 23 let us go there <clears throat> I mean it's amazing 
when when the Muslims they, they but you know the Muslims they assume that everybody is listening talking about Islam is just an ignorant and you there's no way you will know what is in the Quran is you know the Quran is saying how you will know you know there is no way this is a chapter 29 verse number 23 and be my witness this is not my translation this is not my translation 923 keep that in your mind let us zoom out so we can show you the verse all who you believe take not as a friends your father and your brothers if they love infidelity what so if you have if you are a person who converted to Islam let us say like those idiot who sometime we see here and there and you convert to Islam <clears throat> The second you convert to Islam, <clears throat> you have to hate your father and your brother. If they are not Muslims. So Muslims, why you lie to us and you say Islam promote a brotherhood of universal brotherhood? Why you lie? But it's a satanic religion based on deception and based on lying. <clears throat> Can you pause for us that Muhammad is Sabi? My friend, Doug, do you see we have a topic to cover? I think uh, Phillips is posting the link for you, maybe. <clears throat> and this is why, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what happened to my, <clears throat> my, my voice. Hold on. It's better always to save reference when I say, and by the way, for those who say, Okay, the reference you showed in the screen, how we can have it. It's very easy, my friend. You can, you can, like type three of those words here, three of them in Google, and you will find the verse. Very easy. So whatever I show you in the screen, even if I don't give you a link, from your screen there, you can just type three unique words lined up, you know, and you will find in a second, the reference <clears throat> okay football you want to call me to confirm something I just said no problem you can call me feel free <coughs> I, I would like actually to receive phone calls from those who don't confirm those who do go against me more because I like to see somebody really uh, trying to prove me wrong but as you see my friend the Muslims lie to us saying that Islam promote universal brotherhood that is not universal even inside the family you made a Muslim person hate his father and his brother he can take them as a friend forget about you don't want to love them no problem but even a friends not only that Islam make it clear that you cannot take anyone he is a Christian or a Jew as a friend and that is all over the Quran it's not like a, a misunderstood or you know you can read the interpretation made by Muslims for this not our interpretation if we go here as an example <clears throat> All those verse, by the way, is speaking about that. Like this here, verse number four, cha uh, chapter number four, verse one forty-four. It says it clearly: "Take not again, take not the non-believers as a friends." Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Do you hear me, my friend? Hello, I hear nothing. Are you there? All right, well, I don't know. I have to hang up on you because I hear nothing. Sorry for that.
fix your uh, uh, side, please, before you call me. Be sure that it's everything is working <coughs> before you call. So as you see in the front of you, we are not making things up. This is how it is. Take not friends from anyone is not a Muslim. So any Muslim, he take a Muslim as a friend, he is lawful doing that. But if a Muslim who take you as a friend and he mean it, the fact if he mean it, he is an apostate. If we go in chapter 3, verse number 28, and as you see, we are using Islamic interpretation, not ours. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, not my website. This is government. This is our friend, the King of Jordan. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. This is the guy who Trump just gave him, I don't know how many billion dollars, you know, to, to help him to, to overcome his crisis in his country because his country is poor and collapsing. This is the guy, is the same guy, he is publishing in his official Islamic website that we Muslims should not take the Christians and Trump and the American and the Jews and the Hindus and the Buddhas and everyone and atheists as a friends. Which is called Taqiyya. As you see here with me, it says that you cannot take a believer, non-believer as a friend. The Quran call us hypocrites. We are the hypocrites. huh? We are. Mm. We are the disbelievers. We can be Jews, we can be atheists, we can be anything. Then he says, so as become mighty and honorable, which means if a Muslim, he take them as, if a Muslim, he take you as a friend and he mean it. Look with me carefully. Who are sincere? Who is does that seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and the disbelievers as a friend? He has no connection with Allah. That's it. The second he take you as a friend, if he mean it, if he mean it from his heart, he is apostate. He is not a Muslim. What is the crime this Muslim he commit? He took you as a friend and he is seeking honor with you. He want to be honored. He want, he want to be uh, honoring your friendship he want to be loyal to you he want to be a good friend if he do that he has no connection with Allah which means he became an apostate he has no honor which means the Muslim they can rape his wife they can steal his money they can attack him and kill him and torture him he have no mercy or protection as I said the Muslim can harm him physically all of this just because he seek friendship with the disbelievers hmm? do you see it this is not my statement this is not my interpretation this is not my website this is not my book and the one who is saying that is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet of Islam himself. And not only that, the Muslim is encouraged to lie to you. See here it says, you cannot take them as a friend. However, however, unless there's a condition, unless it be that you guard yourself against them. It be what he's talking about what about taking them as a friends so you cannot take them as a friends if you mean it but if you don't mean it you can oh, what does that mean if you don't mean it it's very simple I say to you you are my friend but in fact I hate you save yourself from them read carefully with me please taking it or taking as it were security saving yourself from, from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them with while your heart dislike this I mean how evil this teaching can be more than this if this is what Allah teach 
what is the teaching of the devil that he is teaching them you can speak to them in a friendly way you say to them I love you I am your friend but in fact in your heart you should have hate to them this is the teaching of God so what Satan do for a living Hmm? What Satan do for a living if this is what God does? Teaching us, imagine if Jesus go and says, okay, Christian Prince, you can go to the Muslims and say, I like you, I love you, I want to be a friend to you, but hold on, you should not mean it, okay? In your heart, you should hate them. I mean, how disgusting this teaching is. Hmm? <sighs> okay, uh, the one who his name is Mark is teaching is sending me this. I don't know why. Why you are sending me this link, my friend? All the Muslims, all what uh, you know, all all what people they say about Muslims, they were benefit for mankind is nothing but a fiction and a lie. I saw even Muslims they have an exhibit in in Australia and they are saying we are the first one to you know to discover Australia what the Muslims are the first one to this even they claim even they are the first one to discover America even they claim that the Indian the American Indian they used to be Muslims But however, we can get them busted easy because the Quran says carefully. Welcome to Christian Prince in this story. You know, they, uh, one day they, somebody have a have an audio. Uh, he made an audio about my my uh, my program, and it was funny. He says like, "Welcome to Christian Prince in this story." Uh, if you don't have an answer. Uh, uh, like you know, he using duct tape because he, he what he's saying that Muslims they use a duct tape when they enter into my zone to their mic so the mic will not speak because always they have no answer and they run away and they don't talk to me. Look what the Quran, my friend, says the Muslim they say to you that Islam is, is in a, is international religion, universal in religion, and Muhammad is a prophet sent for all mankind, but look at what how this will contradict the Quran in Chapter 14 verse number 4 it says وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنَ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُضِلُّ اللَّهِ مَنْ يَشَاء وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاء which is very disgusting when I translate in Arabic but this is will get every Muslim busted and Muhammad himself will be busted why this verse saying confirming that there is no exception. Read carefully with me. This is not my translation. We sent not. We sent not. Muslims, do you know what we sent not mean? Muslims, do you know what we sent not mean? It's mean never. So we sent not a messenger except to teach in the tongue of his own. On what people hold on if Allah never send a Muslim messenger to any any other nation unless he is one of the nation and he speak the tongue of those people in this in this verse in the front of us the Quran speak of two conditions condition number one it have to be in the language of those people so let us put the number here this is condition number one all right this is condition number one it to speak the language condition number two that this person is going to speak to his own is what his own 
what does that mean he is going to be from that nation not a stranger is that clear so the prophet for the English he will not be someone speak Arabic and he have to be an Englishman a prophet for people from uh, Spain or Japan or China he have to be from that land from that nation speaking the language of that nation two conditions so why you Muslims lie to us and you say Muhammad was an international prophet isn't that a contradiction to the Quran do Muhammad speak the language of the Chinese according to Muslims Muhammad even don't know how to speak his own language very well he do not know how to write how to read and that's mean he is short of knowledge regarding his language his own that's what they say not me <clears throat> this is Quran this is Quran we are reading Quran this is not hadith and remember here with me that the Quran confirm that Allah never sent which means there's no exception never never and he speak that in the time of Muhammad we sent not we sent not a messenger there's no exception so why Muslims they lie to us and they say Islam is an international religion and Muhammad is an international prophet who is the liar here do Muhammad speak the language in my language as an example I'm from China okay Muhammad speak to me say Quran to me in Chinese hmm? who is the prophet of the Mexican Any Muslim can tell me who is the prophet who came to the Mexican? See, si, senor. Anyone have an idea? <clears throat> How Muhammad is an international prophet, but he is not speaking the language of any of those people. Muslims, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? Anyone have any answer? Anyone can give us like uh, something, something to chew in? Who is wrong here? Who is lying to who? There is somebody is lying. When the Muslim they say to us, Islam is an international language religion obviously there is a lie there's a very bad lie there right but don't be surprised this is what Islam is about Islam is about how I can fool you and then you are a fool because if you are not a fool I will not be able to fool you anyway right How Muhammad even he is a qualified to speak to someone he is from the Middle East. Remember, at that time, it's not what today you know that they, today the Muslims they occupy many countries and they claim that those our country are Arab, which is it not true? Iraq never been Arab. This is the land of the Assyrian and the Babylon. Uh, Syria is not Arab. This is the land of the Aramaic. Uh, 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 Turkey is not even Muslims, you know, have nothing to do with the Muslims or even the Arab. This is the land of the Byzantine. 
and the Orthodox Church and Jordan is the same Israel is the same oh you name it Morocco uh, Tunisia those people they have their own language and they are different ethnic groups so who is the prophet who came to those people any Muslim has any idea any Muslim would like to call I'm really surprised that Muslims are not calling because you know always Muslims they claim that they have answers and they can refute us and they can prove us wrong you know actually I heard uh, I heard that salsa dance it was one day a verse in the Quran is that a true Muslims is that the language Allah he spoke to people in Havana was it a truly Quran and Muhammad is the founder of salsa Absolutely. Praise be to Allah. Shake it, brother. Shake it. Yes, you put your up, up, and your head down, brother. Absolutely. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Brother Zakir Naik, you are not moving correctly. Zakir Naik, please. No, you are. This is not how it is. Don't turn the fan on because Zakir Naik will fly, brother. He's so skinny. What the heck? Yes, brother, brother, Mr. Brother Dawa, brother Dawa, shake it, shake it, break it, don't break it. Please call Naaman Khan because he have a lot of girlfriends, those who speak to them and give text up and what's up. What's up, what's up, brother? MashaAllah. That's, that's so beautiful. Okay, commercial break, brother. It's time to do we do evolution. We are people who pray a lot and we have to do evolution right now. You go to the bathroom, you shake your testicles and you shake your penis three times and you will be ready to go. Are you ready to go? We go back to the Wednesday. Okay, thank you very much. Takbir, takbir, brother. Are you an idiot? I said takbir. Why you am bringing a beer for me? What's wrong with you? We are allowed to do salsa dancing because it's not haram, especially if you put the hands around the butt of the women, because the prophet used to do so. And I can show you the hadith. Mashallah. Islam was international religion. Is that a salsa? religion because salsa is international too who is a Muslim don't agree with me why you lie to us Muslims why you think we are naive huh ah, you think we are naive uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I heard the Muslim. He said we allowed the kuffar to find to find the moon because simply, brother, if they were to go to the moon and to Mars, the earth will be stay for us alone, and all the infidels they will, uh, you know, they will, uh, uh, they will leave the, the, the earth. Yeah, this is why we are the one who discover the the space, and we have this. And you know the funny. Hold on. I don't want to go there, but you are forcing me because you see when you listen salsa music you go salsa and That is exactly Islam like Islam is salsa like all of that. You just shake it break it whatever you want to do in the Quran 
<clears throat> I wish we did not speak about salsa. I mean, why, I, why even I go there? It's your fault. It's the devil, brother. This is the devil. That's what the devil said. Uh, <clears throat> if we go in the Quran, we will find something more funny. <clears throat> Uh, oh, I'm typing in English. All right. <laughs> Read with me carefully this verse, chapter 55, verse number 33. 55, 33. Should I sing it for you, Muslims? No, you better we don't. Because the Muslim, they try to convince you that the Quran is so beautiful and it's going to touch you. So when they bring you a guy, he have a very beautiful voice to send the Quran for you. What about we asked you to make Zakir Naik to sing the Quran for us and then we will laugh and we will see how stupid it is. Do you need to bring someone have a beautiful voice? Ya ma'ashara jinni wal ins In istata'atum an tanfudhu min akhtari samawati wal ard Fanfudhu La tanfuduna illa bi sultan What is that? What a horrible statement Let us see the translation made by the Abdul 55-33 Remember Allah is making a challenge. Challenge to who? Two kind of a creatures. The first one is the genie, and those who do not know who is the genie, remember the genie is not a demon, as some naive Christian they think. Don't mix things between Muslims believe and Christianity. Muslims do not believe in demon. Genie is made created from fire. He is a creature. He have a penis. He have sex, and he masturbate. Okay, and he don't use condoms just to let you know so be aware and not only that Muslim they believe that even genie can have sex with his wife Actually, there's many complaints made by Muslims about sex done by genie to their spouse Which is very ugly and scary I mean imagine you marry a girl or you are in love with her and then you go to the bedroom and you open the bedroom door and like Suddenly, suddenly you are there and you find your wife with Mr. Genie. Brother, brother, I want to tell you a story. Our God, Allah, brother, He created the Genie. And the Genie, brother, they have a very powerful Venus. And women, they like that. Once upon the time, our brother Abdul, he went to his bedroom and he found his wife doing boom boom with the genie. What a painful moment. Disgusting moment. I seek refuge by Allah from the genie. Some of you might think I am just joking. I can show you right now. I can go right now and search on Google about sex with jeans. You think I'm quitting? Okay, hold on. Yeah, I, because I can see it in your faces. I look, look at this guy. Look at that girl there. What's her name? I forgot her name. Yeah, not not you. No, no not you, not you. The other one. And yeah, yeah, the other one there. Y you see, I don't say things if not true. I'm going to go to Google. Let me turn the screen off a second. And I will search for Muslims websites. Six with Jinn. Oh, Lord have mercy. Do you see the Muslim website? This is the Muslim website, my friend. Do you know the title? Scary. Jen tried to sleep with me. 
sex and intimacy having sexual relationship with the jinn uh, by the way he says a spirit demon here this is false those are not spirit and they are not demon this is why they can have sex with you because they're not spirit they are physical being all right even they have youtube about it can a jinn perform sex with your wife what guys do you want me to read this let us make a vote how many of you would like me to read this article can a jinn perform sex with your wife if you like me to read the article give me one if you don't like give me two because we are up we believe in democracy okay give me one if you like me to read it give me two if you don't like it all right as long the majority agreed to read it I have to say I will not read it because I told you 100 time we Arab do not believe in democracy you say yes we say no hello I mean how many time I told you we don't believe in democracy why you are giving me one you just told me not to do it you are you are you are out out of update my friend we are Arab you say yes we say no can a jinn perform sex with your wife and you are asking me why I'm not married yet. I mean, imagine you bring a woman to your house and you spoil her, you take care of her, and then one day you open the refrigerator and you find her having sex with the genie in the freezer. And don't ask me why in the freezer, because the genie is so hot. Read carefully. Assalamu alaikum. What? Assalamu alaikum. WRBT Sheikh Hisham. So this guy is asking the Sheikh. Huh? This is a website run by a Sheikh. Uh, don't forget to go and make a donation for the Sheikh because he he will shake he will shake you. <laughs> Let me make more the text more clear. Assalamu alaikum. WRBT FNG. It's two hundred Mercedes. I am married for twenty four years. This guy, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I don't know. Let's see. Married for 24 years. My marriage has not been one that I can be happy about. I mean, after 24 years, you are coming to tell us that. Okay. Many arguments have failed my marriage. Uh, about four years ago, my wife started changing. <coughs> four years ago. Four years ago. I have noticed that she would be sexually aroused, which I have not seen before. If, 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 if. She must be eating too much seafood, my friend. <laughs> In her sleep. And when I awake her, she be angry with me. This woman, she's aroused when she is asleep. Well, obviously, because you can do nothing, you idiot. Otherwise, why is she asleep? <laughs> and she's horny. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know what I don't know what to say. I think I, I think it's time for salsa. Absolutely. Watch for your wife. She is going to have with a dream. It must be the genie. <laughs> genie in the ball. Genie with his wife. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now this guy, he noticed that his wife, she got horny, so horny when she is asleep. And what he do about it? He wake her up. <laughs> I want to get married immediately. <laughs> My wife get horny. I wake her up. Hey, honey, wake up, wake up. Do you want me to make some tea for you? The woman, she is desperately need sex. Can't you tell you idiot? And what do you do? You wake her up? Now he is seeking answer from the sheikh. May Allah shake him. And he is saying to him, she get angry with me 
I need your help since my marriage is heading for divorce. She think I'm crazy. <laughs> it's not good to be here. It would, you, you might shock and die from laughing. Look what Assalamu Alaikum Brother Sheikh is saying. She is right in the sense that sexual dreams, like nightmare, are a dream, illusion, hulm, from shaitan only. Now, he is saying here, he has given him the solution. Recite Ya Wadud 100 times. What? What 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 is a solution? Wadud is one of the names of Allah. Okay, so you say one hundred time. You tell your wife to say one hundred time Ya Wadud, and that will do what? Will will make her vagina relax? Hello. And then, uh, daily for intention of renewing love and tremendous in your couple. 24 years prove a friendship partnership blah 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 so think of the good things you have filled together as for the in related question in the title header and etc by a shake blah 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 he said the truth is that it is possible for a human beings and jinns to have sexual intercourse, Allah Akbar. I feel like I want to fly overseas. I mean, this lie is not even touching the ground. This is a very high lie, high quality. It is possible, my friend in Islam, it's possible that a genie. Is the one doing your wife and having zigs with her and here he caught he says al talabi mentioned in his tafsir that that is meaning of and be oh iblis imagine your wife having sex with iblis Iblis which means the shaitan satan i mean you see sometimes people they get so upset because his wife she cheated on him with a guy I mean, which one you prefer to cheat with the devil or to cheat with the guy? Obviously, with the guy. <laughs> uh, brother, brother, are you saying to me that Mr. Shaitan have a penis? Muslims, are you saying to me that Shaitan have a penis and he park his penis in the vagina of the Muslim women? Is that what you are trying to say to me? Because how is Shaitan is having sex with her? When you say to me that Iblis or Shaitan is having intercourse with your wife, what he is using exactly to do intercourse? I will give you three options. He was using his nose, his toes, or his penis. Any Abdul? Huh? Actually, the Quran confirmed that Shaitan he had babies and literally babies. If we go to the interpretation about how the Shaitan he have babies, who remember how Shaitan have babies? Who remember? Any one of you remember how Shaitan was able to have babies? Who remember? Eggs, but how he got the eggs before the eggs? Yeah, but how he lay eggs before the eggs is he do something he have to do something okay let me refresh your memory according to muslims and i am saying and i can prove what i am saying and i change any muslim to say this is true according to islam shaitan have a penis in the right leg and he have a vagina in the left leg and this is the first shaitan and when he get horny he shake his legs like imagine, you know, he's doing salsa. Shake it. Yeah. Ah, having sex together, brother. So he shake his legs 
and then his this go inside this which means the shaitan penis go inside his vagina he have a vagina and he have a penis in the same time and after he shake it and he do himself then at the end of the day he lay 10 eggs and from those 10 eggs there is 72 shaitan or 70 shaitan and female shaitana which mean male and female creatures who they are devils will be born out of the eggs so finally in Islam we discovered that shaitan is a chicken and he lay eggs and he have a penis in the right leg and in the left leg he have a vagina and obviously this is a very true story and very convincing I mean who in the world here can deny such a knowledge Brother Fitzer, the kafar, the infidel are laughing at it last, but the truth, let us see at the end who is going to laugh more. Listen to them, listen to them. They are laughing at, at the teaching of Islam. But the fact, we are the true people, my friend. Satan, he have a penis, and I saw it myself. Once I was watching porn, and I saw Satan, he was playing with the penis, and he had three balls, not two, to be honest with you. Uh -huh. Is that true? And then he continued here saying, quoting from the Quran, chapter 17, verse number 64, that it please a partner in their human beings. So they are confirming the Quran saying that, that shaitan is going to partner with you in their children's. How? Simply because he will do your wife. Actually, Muhammad, he said, before you have intercourse with your wife, you have to say certain prayer. Otherwise, Shaitan will be doing your wife before you have sex with her. To make it simple, when you are going to have sex with the woman, whoever she is, if you don't say that prayer according to Muhammad, Shaitan will wrap himself around the penis of the man. And he will be the one doing the women, and he will is the one who will make her horny. And he is the one who will make her have orgasm and he is the one who will have his cum inside her and make her pregnant and this is how Allah says in the Quran that Iblis he will partner with you in your wealth and your children's and then here he continue saying that Ibn Jarir and At-Tabari Tafsir 22 verse number 248 narrated that Mujahid said when a man has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah, the jinn coils around his yurtra. Do you see it? I'm not the one saying that. Hey, Abdul, you see, I just I just told you that this is what happened, and the Muslims are confirming it. You have to say the name of Allah, my friend. It is the best condom ever. Say Allah. Why you don't say Allah? <laughs> hold on, hold on, Abdul. Hold on. Are you saying to me if I say Allah, Allah will be the kingdom and He will protect my beep from Shaitan? Hello? Are you serious? Uh, Muslims, if I say the name of Allah before I have intercourse, is that going to stop AIDS from coming to me? If saying Allah will stop shaitan, I mean, which is more powerful, a little virus or shaitan? Hello? Hello? Shaitan is coming for you and condom will not protect you so you better say the name of Allah he is the only condom left for you hello I mean this is so beautiful this is how we can protect our penises by saying the name of Allah I'm really being touched Allah is so powerful, you say his name, his name protect your Venus.
This is beyond imagination. It's hard. Oh, I'm not talking about, you know, don't go there. It's hard to believe that this is not true. Must be true. Science prove it. Actually, I remember once a Muslim used to come to a Christian chat room and each time he entered the room He says to them. Oh Christians. You are the son of shaitan Why he says that because he learned this as we see in the screen in front of us from his prophet That if you don't say the name of Allah before you have intercourse with your wife The shaitan will be you and your mother and you will be the son of the devil So he keep always saying that each time he entered the Christian room So the admin in that room he said to me. Can you please do something shut him up? We don't know what to say to him. I told him this is not my program here. You know, I'm just here a guest. I said, please do something. So I took the microphone and I asked him, Abdul, are you sure that this is a Sahih Hadith, Sahih Quran? He said, yes, it's Sahih. I said, are you sure it is Sahih? He said, absolutely, I'm sure. I said to him again three times because Muhammad Muslim they love to repeat three times. Are you sure it is Sahih? He said, Sir, what's wrong with you? How many times I have to say to you, it's Sahih? I told you it's Sahih. Are you stupid? It is Sahih. Which means correct. So I said to him, well, based on what you just said and confirm it is Sahih, which means correct, that means your prophet himself is the son of the devil because his father was not a believer in Allah. Therefore, when he had sex with his mother, he did not say Allah before he have intercourse. And the Muslim took the mic and he started crying and cursing me. <laughs> May Allah curse you. May Allah cut your penis. <laughs> May Allah make you jeez kebab. May Allah make a train go over you. May Allah send the truck. May Allah make a Trump lose his hair in the front of your eyes. Yeah, but what, what the heck? What happened? You, you are saying that we are the son of the devil because our father did not say Allah before he have intercourse. And now we found that your prophet himself is a son of the devil based in this. It's amazing the intelligence of the Abdul. I cannot be that. So smart. It's, you know, the Muslims are not only outdated with science, technology, civilization. They are outdated with normal IQ and intelligence. If there's any Muslim here, he don't agree with me. Otherwise, by the way, I don't want to forget. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like to protect your penis. Because here, as you see, we mentioned the name of Allah many times. So imagine how many times we get protection already. This is the best way to protect yourself, my friend. Very powerful protection. Let us continue. So, if you don't say the name of Allah, where you are having intercourse with your wife, the jinn, which is the shaitan, he coil around your penis and he has intercourse with him. What? My wife, she is doing two in the same time now. Is that a threesome according to Islam? <laughs> you see, the wife, the only winner in this case is the woman. She is having two in the same time. And still, it is one is visible and the other one is invisible. <laughs> I hate myself. Mm. I, I truly hate myself. I feel sorry for the Muslims. I mean, when the Muslims, he listen to me. You can imagine how much he hate me. But Abdul, think about it. I mean, who is the dumb? Who's a stupid here? This is a threesome. You, Satan, your wife. And your wife, she is enjoying it more. Actually, I can show you the story in the tafsir about the Prophet Suleiman. Suleiman. Even Suleiman or Solomon. According to Muslims, the devil, he was sleeping with all his wives. And the wives, they notice. How the wives, they recognize. Anyone remember? 
how the wives of Sulaiman, according to the Islamic stories, according to Muhammad and his followers, how the wives of Muhammad, they no, sorry, Sulaiman, they notice that this is not their husband because what he did, Shaitan, he cloned himself to look like Sulaiman. He steal his ring, which controlled the demon and sorry, the, the genie and the Shaitan and etc. And the, the the magic, you know, the the Lord of the Ring, you know, movie. How they notice that this is not Shaitan, this is not the Sulaiman, because they notice that this a new husband, or let us say the clone, which is a Shaitan, he do very powerful intercourse. Like I don't know how to explain to you how powerful he is, but you can imagine this. Shaitan, when he do sex is not like the same as when Suleiman do sex. Suleiman he do it like this. This is Suleiman. But Shaitan, when he do sex with the wives of Suleiman, it was like this. And the women like go crazy, like Do you want to take a break? No, I cannot. Shaitan, this is Shaitan, my friend. His penis is not like anyone's penis. It is a nuclear, powerful. Super powerful, not like the penis of Suleiman, the poor guy. So the wives of Suleiman, they notice that there is a huge change. Suleiman used to do it once. This guy, he do it forever, man. I mean, come on, we can't even breathe. And this is how they noticed. <sighs> and you tell me that Muslims are not smart. Are you serious? If the Muslims are not smart, how they come to uh, or with this story? It is very logical. The penis of Shaitan versus the penis of Suleiman. Who is the winner? Who you think is going to be the winner? And the women of Suleiman, the wives, they went to the elders and they told them, "He cannot be our husband." The elder they said, "Why? Why? Why?" Huh? Whisper, whisper, tell us why. He said, We are shy to tell you, really. No, tell us what happened. Why, how you know he is not Suleiman? I'm not sure, you know. I don't know how to tell you. I'm very shy. What tell us? Come on, what happened? What he is doing? Oh, you know, first size does matter, as you know, and the penis of this guy is so small, which means big. And not only that, brother, his penis is so powerful. And Suleiman, the one we know, his penis is so weak. So how come and what happened? <sighs> hmm. True story. I mean, who can oppose this story? You cannot. There is no any human being he dare even to say this is not a true and genie will not sleep with your wife. It's a proven by science. And if you ask people around you, you will find many women they have already sex with the demon. Sorry, not the demon, the shaitan, which is the genie. <clears throat> All right. Should we continue? I don't know. Actually, I wasn't going to talk about this, but the story brought a story brought a story and now look where we are do we have any muslim would like to call me <clears throat> if there is any muslim is unhappy which is weird i never heard of a muslim is angry all of them they are happy people that's why they have a sign that says we will be hate the one who insult the prophet any muslim <clears throat> Anyone? Um, I'm disappointed. I thought Muslims would call us. All right, let's continue. <coughs> the meaning of, of the saying of Allah Most High, whom 
neither man or jinn has touched before them ah in chapter 5 55 verse number 56 the Quran confirm that Allah will provide Muslim men in heaven women who they never been having sex not touch actually it doesn't say touch it doesn't say touch in Arabic it says yet muthahun which mean he made them bleed made them bleed which means made them lose their virginity so those women are virgin and there's no genie neither a man had sex with them and he is saying to him well if the shaitan cannot have sex with the women anyway why Allah saying that there is no shaitan or man had sex with them already so obviously shaitan he can have sex with your wife do we have any Muslim here he oppose what the Muslim Sheikh here is saying according to the Quran hello hello Christian Prince yes my friend how are you hello how are you I'm very well thank you I've just got one question to ask you know how these retarded Muslims always want to find Muhammad in the Bible uh -huh. Uh -huh. how would you refute the <laughs> argument of Deuteronomy 1818 using Islam itself because I what I found out is that you're absolutely fantastic in using Islam as a self-refuting mechanism for mm. the Muslim claim so how would you use Islam to disprove that Muhammad is prophesied in Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18 uh, well you know the answer is very simple the same verse we were reading from because the the the, the verse they are talking about is about a person who will come from the nation of Israel he will be one right. of them and that means Muhammad is not a qualified the Quran says we never send a messenger unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people Muhammad is not from the Jews and he don't speak the tongue of the Jews the answer is very simple you know, however the Muslims are desperately trying to find Muhammad but the question is if this is what Muslims they say so why the Quran said that the one who mentioned Muhammad name is going to be Jesus not Moses you know? right so in the Quran it doesn't say that Muhammad is prophesied by Moses only by Jesus well the Quran says that Isa said that there is a messenger will come after him his name is Ahmad not even Muhammadim <laughs> you know so the name should be written or found it could be found only in the New Testament according to the Quran and he mentioned the name of the person who will come after him his name is not Muhammad his name is Ahmad if we go to chapter 61 verse number six we will find the following it says here and remember Jesus doesn't say Jesus it says Isa the son of Mary said "O children of Israel I am a messenger of Allah sent to you confirming the law which come before me and giving a glad tidings of a messenger come after me who his name shall be Ahmad that's it so the name should be appear is Ahmad and the one who will mention that person should be only Isa not Mo not Moses not not, not anyone. Solomon no one like no that. one yeah all of this is uh, is you know in the same time as I said uh, uh, the Quran says it clearly that uh, we never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people and he is from the people and Muhammad never uh, you know sent never 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 was from the Jews or he speak the language of the Jews so the answer for this is very simple and Muslims got busted same time uh, you know Muhammad he never heard his uh, voice of the Lord anyway <laughs> you know did Muhammad right. did Muhammad hear the voice of his Lord uh, did Muhammad speak is there not a, is there not a Sahih narration that he goes up to heaven and he speaks to Allah or something or to Jesus even that is not a true because simply uh, Aisha she got Muhammad busted Aisha she said the Prophet was uh, uh, descended to heaven by his spirit not by his body right okay. which which mean it was a, a dream you know right. because as long as your body is here I mean you did not go anywhere obviously and the right. only way for your soul to go and your body is left is to be dead 
Right. Yeah. So because the- Moses did mighty miracles that the whole of Israel could witness. And that's what the qualifier is of one that is like Moses. But according to the Quran, Muhammad never did any miracles. You know, Muhammad, you see, when somebody he says Muhammad is a prophet, first of all, what is the prophecy of Muhammad? So we can laugh at it. There's tons of, of hadith about prophecy. Uh, Muhammad, he said, as, as an example, um, if we go in the in the hadith, we will see anything Muhammad actually he said is kind of a prophecy because when Muhammad he said the sun set in the murky water, that's a prophecy because at that time nobody knows, right? Where the sun goes. So if the sun set in the murky water, and he said that in the Quran and in the hadith, and then we find that this is not a true, that's obviously Muhammad is a false prophet. You know, where is where is the one who believed that the sun set in the murky water? How anyone can believe in such a garbage? So, uh, 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 as an example here, when Muhammad, we mentioned this hadith many times, but I mentioned this one because it's very easy. Uh, otherwise, there's many examples. But uh, Muhammad, he said clearly that he believed that the sun, during the sunset, it goes. And it goes and prostrates itself under the throne of Allah. And this is nothing but a prophecy because remember that what Muhammad, he claimed he said here is an inspiration from God this is why you see uh, he is connecting the movement of the Sun to the throne of God for right. he, he is speaking a religious prophecy not science you know and this religious prophecy is about the movement of the Sun which nobody knows at that time how it is and as you see the story in the front of you saying clearly to Muhammad how he explained according to his God knowledge how the sun and where the sun goes so if Muhammad is a prophet he should should not make such a false stupid prophecy claiming that the sun goes every day from point A to point B and this is why the sun disappear right okay and, um, and Christian uh, Prince we you can know show the Quran we, we, says... we, can, we can show more hold on we can show more and more uh, uh, false prophecy of Muhammad even from the Quran uh, like the Quran says about the sunset actually already but as an example when the Muslims they keep saying to us Muhammad he have a miracle right they say to us the split of the moon so they right. say okay well the Quran never said that Muhammad did a miracle or even Allah did a miracle in the Quran the Quran make a statement in chapter 54 verse number one saying the judgment day is near and the moon split chapter 54 verse number one so it's reporting a, a, a statement. It's a statement of report, not a statement of announcing a miracle done by Allah. It is about what they witness. And what they witness, read carefully, the hour, which means the judgment, is night, or which means very near, and the moon a cleft ascender. Okay. The moon never a cleft. It's a lie. And you can check, you know, the Muslim, they post a picture from NASA saying this is a valley and uh, the moon is split. This is a valley. We have a, we have bigger than this valley. It's called the Grand Grand Canyon, and has nothing to do with the, with the Earth being split. If the Earth is split for a second, or the Moon is split for a second, the Moon will be destroyed, and will not mm -hmm. be sealed again. For it's going to be grabbed by other planets around them, which are bigger than them. So this is false. So here, Muhammad he made a very false, big statement that the Judgment Day is near, and not only is near. It is uh, very, very soon. And what is the sign of the judgment day? That the moon is split. So the judgment day started. This is not just a sign. You know, if the moon is split, what the point of this moon is splitting? What for? I mean, it's a sign. Sign of what? That it is. That's it. It's a judgment day. So Muhammad, uh, he was actually copying a poetry made by an Arab man before him. But most likely, he repeated this poetry because in his time, uh, it's normal to see uh, an eclipse. You know, eclipse happens sometimes more than once a year. So he, they, you know, they witnessed something, and Muhammad he announced that this is a sign of a judgment day. This is why, if you go in the hadith, you will find that Muhammad, always in the time of the eclipse, he pray like crazy. He bow down. He start screaming, shouting speaking loud praying to Allah asking for forgiveness 
he is very worried during the eclipse why because he and the other Arab at that time they believe that the eclipse is about a sign from God God is angry God is unhappy which is a very well-known practice at that time so we can go all over and we can see tons of false prophecy of Muhammad which will not disqualify him from being a prophet or to be considered for a second a prophet right another question you know in the Quran where it says woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands mm -hmm. and that the Jews sold their scripture for a small amount of price I don't know what verse that's from well what, this, this is not what does that mean yeah does that mean that, that the Quran is saying that the um, uh, Jewish and Christian scriptures have been corrupted or is it about something else uh, you see there's the Quran speak in many places uh, about uh, what is called corruption and the verse you are talking about is uh, is a chapter 2 verse 79 it says right. and then they say this is from Allah so it is this is not really there's no proof that this is about the Jews however uh, if the Jews did not write the book by their hands and they should not write the book by their hands why Muhammad wrote the book by his hand number two if the Jews they wrote a book and they say that this is from Allah just to seek some benefit this is what it's mean to seek some benefit maybe money or etc then why Muhammad he swear and he take an oath by the book of the Jews which is written by the hand of the Jews right okay I don't know if you remember the hadith yeah where he took a cushion next to him right and he put the Torah on top and he said I believe in him who has revealed this right so if if this book written by the hand of the Jews and it's a corrupt book in which authority Muhammad he was taking oath by it and saying I believe in thee and the one who sent thee hmm? <coughs> it doesn't make sense you know uh, unless unless the Torah is not corrupt and Muhammad you know I remember once I was debating Muslims and they said to me that the Prophet at that time he took an oath by the Torah he is just being nice to the Jews he was just being respectful. Res yeah, respectful. Actually, this is what he said exactly. I think maybe you saw the video. Uh, no, no, no. I've not. I, I just was paraphrasing. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, uh, I said so. Uh, I, I can, uh, in order to be respectful, I have to say I believe in thee. Lie. I take an oath, taking false oath, just to be respectful for the Jews. That's that's stupid. This is not the behavior of God, Prophet. A man of God, he will never take an oath in a book which is a false book. It doesn't matter what you try. Even if you try to, to if you force him to, to say it, even if you want to execute him, he will not take an oath in a book which is a false book. So how Muhammad, he took the oath in that book? Because he did not believe that it was corrupted and he believed he was it was from God uh, He don't believe in it anyway. No, he don't believe in anything. Muhammad is a liar. He knows he's, he's a liar But he's a, he's a he's a fake man. He would take oath on anything Right, you know if you if you are a thief and I am a judge and I say to you if you take an oath I will let you go free. Are you going to take an oath? You're a thief already <laughs> Yeah, you will take an oath every day, you know So if oath will save me if oath will make me look good, I will take the oath. I'm a false prophet anyway there's no way that Muhammad do not know that he's a false man, right? So why mm. why he will not take an oath just to make the Jews happy and make them believe that he is like them? He believe in the same book. Mm. So the purpose was is to fool the Jews and make them believe that he is a prophet from the same God they believe in. So they will follow him. But Muhammad, he could not make it happen because the Jews are not stupid to believe in him. Right. Yeah. Um, Christian Prince, you know in Surah 929 where it says, um, 
uh, it talks about the Christians m making Jesus the son of Allah. Then it talks about the Jews making Ezra the son of Allah. And it also says that they take their monks and their priests and their rabbis as gods besides Allah. Is this Muhammad just going on a little tantrum and just over-exaggerating everything? Uh, because because when have Christians or Jews ever taken monks and rabbis as lords besides Allah? Is this not just a gross exaggeration by whoever wrote that passage? Well, the message there actually, it, it gives always false translation and even false interpretation because the verse there says that those who worship their uh, monks and rabbis instead of worshiping Allah and Jesus. So, here the question is, why the Quran is saying that? They will say to you, this is an art of language to put the name of Jesus at the end beside Allah. But the fact, the verse in Arabic is very clear. It says that those who worship their monks and rabbis instead of the Messiah, of Allah and the Messiah. So what is required, or what the verse is talking about, that you should not worship monks, neither rabbis, you should worship only one God, which is the Messiah, which is Allah. No, this is what the verse is saying. However, if you go in the interpretation of the verse or even the translation, it comes differently. It comes as the following: those who worship their monks and their rabbis, instead of worshiping Allah, and worship the Messiah, be, be like beside Allah the Messiah. You know. So, you know, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a false uh, uh, interpretation or translation far away from what the word in Arabic is saying. You know? Right. And uh, Christian Prince, you know the hadith where it says that uh, shaitan is in the noses of the disbeliever? Yeah, well, you know, let us go back to the to the shaitan in the penis of the believer first, and then we finish. No, okay, but the thing is, there are millions of penises, and there are millions of um, noses. So does shaitan have the attribute of omnipresence, according no, no, to Islam? No, no, shaitan, sh shaitan is not the same as in Christianity. Shaitan, as we said, he have babies, he have sex, he have a penis. So uh, now he have babies uh, uh, by trillions, not by millions, you know? So shaitan is not is not one shaitan no more. There's millions of them, billions, you know, more than even the the number of the human. So wow. uh, th this is why we say that the first shaitan, the Muslim, they try to explain, uh, uh, like you know the 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 website we were showing you about the genie, if you remember here, you know the the, the, the Muslim sheikh was explaining that. Quran says that the shaitan is going to be partner with them with their children. All right. All right. Okay. How he can have children? How he can? Uh, and the Quran even mentioned that the shaitan will have children. So how the how is he going to have a children? The Muslims, in order to solve this problem, they come to a conclusion based in Muhammad teaching that shaitan have a penis in the right side of his leg, and he have a penis a vagina in the left leg. And then he shake it to have sex with himself. And then every day, at the end of the day, he lay down ten eggs. And from every egg, there is seventy uh, shaitan and, sh and, and shaitana come out. So let me let me calculate the number. Actually, we can we can we can search uh, we can search for the the reference in Arabic if Muslims don't believe me. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. Is that what they actually believe in? Yeah, yes, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going How to can you never hear of this by the mainstream Muslims? It's crazy. Many Muslims do not know. I mean, you know, Muslims do not. Not all Muslims know. You know, not all Muslims. Oh, right. not, not, not all Muslims know. There's many. They have no idea. They never heard this before. Like how many times you hear uh, uh, Muslims saying to me, "I never heard this before." Where is this from? You know. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 like just in the last week, we have two guys, two Muslims who speak Arabic. Both of them, they do not know that Allah is not a spirit, correct? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they don't know even even the nature of Allah. They don't know. You know. Uh, <laughs> You're too funny, man. You're too funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, like here, actually, I, I have the reference in front of me, uh, but I will try to find an official uh, Islamic. Uh, uh, reference and I will show it on the screen so people they can see that we are not making things up. This is what your Islamic books. 
uh, actually even Muhammad in the hadith he said uh, don't be the last one to enter the bazaar because if you enter uh, shaitan uh, he lay his eggs there you know it's a it's a fiction Muhammad he spread um, let us see here um, I'm trying to find uh, Actually, there's a videos on YouTube, but I, I, I wish I can play it. Uh, the Sheikh is explaining how Shaitan, he, uh, you know, he had sex with himself. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, obviously the Shaitan is a bad boy, you know, what you can do. <laughs> you, you tell Shaitan, don't do that, he do it. I mean, what you can say? You know. I'm crying. Put, your, put, yourself, put yourself in the shoes of Shaitan, what you will do? You know, you're Shaitan. And everybody have a girlfriend except you. What you would do? You have sex. With, yeah. You have sex with yourself. And what you can do? You know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let us see. Uh, actually, I found many websites, but I'm trying to find something more official. Um, there's many. Okay. Uh, <coughs> All right. This is Al Jamia Li Ahkam Al Quran, Tafsir Al Qurtubi. Any Muslim who is listening or watching, please be careful. Listen carefully and watch carefully. I'm not making things up. This is the book of Al Qurtubi. This is the book of Al Qurtubi. This is your official Islamic website, library.islamweb.net. Read with me carefully, Abdul. All the Abdul. <coughs> it, it says here. وقال مجاهد إن إبليس أدخل فرجه في فرج نفسه فباد خمس بيضات فهذا أصل ذريته أو translate مجاهد he said that إبليس which means شيطان he did enter his first uh, his penis with the other vagina which he have and he lay down five eggs this is the first story and it says that Allah when he created shaitan he created for him a penis in the right thigh of his leg and a vagina in the left thigh thigh so he so he if this by that which means he if himself the the, the penis by the vagina and then he lay down and he will lay down every day 10 eggs and and from every egg there is 70 shaitan male shaitan and female shaitan so the first shaitan he was a male in the field and female in the same time but the shaitan after that there's shaitan female and shaitan male now this let us calculate if the shaitan in every day he do that to himself all right let me go to the calculator all right so if every day he laid 10 eggs then from every egg from every egg he gets 70 babies that means there's 700 shaitan every day just coming from the first shaitan not from his children now then if we say 700 x 3 uh, 365 a year that means shaitan he will have 255,500 babies every year if we calculate that by 100 year that will make shaitan have a 25 million 550 thousand babies shaitan in 100 year that's mean the population of shaitan is over populated and a lot more than our number because how many babies adam he have within his lifetime his sons and the grandsons we are just remember count, counting only the babies of the shaitan not his babies now because babies his babies they will have sex too this is only the babies of the first shaitan so obviously the muslim trying to explain why muhammad he's saying certain things and they could not find a reasoning for it except that shaitan obviously have a penis in the right leg and he have a vagina in the left leg which is a true you know, I saw many shaitan, they have that. It's true, you know. I am I am willing to take an oath in that, my friend. Yeah. Anything? Christian Prince. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, you know where it talks about Allah sending missiles to uh, um, to shoot down the demons that uh, escape from hell? Can you explain that a little bit more? Well, uh, we don't want to go all over the topics. Let us finish one at, at, at oh, the time. Sorry. You know, it's okay. But, uh, you know, the ideas of shaitan in Islam is is uh, is mixed with many legions coming from previous religions before Islam and uh, many fiction stories. Uh, shaitan, he have sex, shaitan have a penis, shaitan have a vagina, shaitan sleep with the wife. Uh, you know, all kind of explanation for things people they suffer from in their lifetime. Uh, always it was connected uh, to fictions stories so you know if a Muslim man as you see here in the story uh, his wife she is horny uh, he right away think uh, that she is having affair with the devil sleeping with him while she is in his bedroom uh, and this is as you see this is not a fiction according to Islam this is a this is a this is a faith this is a belief this is very original and authentic in Islam. It's not like an opinion of a sheikh. This is an opinion of the Prophet of Islam himself. Because Muhammad himself, he said, uh, as an example, don't be the first one uh, to enter the, the bazaar and don't be uh, uh, la the last one. Because the shaitan, he lay his eggs. Let me, let me see if I can find the hadith before you go. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So this is this is Muhammad saying that. Okay, let us see. Where, 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 where? Hmm. Sometime. Let's see if we can. And faster here, here we go the prophet of Allah he said uh, don't be the first to enter the market and or the last because shaitan you see the translation here is false because shaitan he lay eggs there it says in the translation uh, in the arena of Satan and the star the standard of Satan said there was standard of Satan it says because shaitan he lay his eggs there and they come out of the egg you know so this is something muslims they learn from muhammad himself directly it was not an assumption you know all right i hope i did answer you yeah thank you very much christian prince you are welcome thank you very much for calling right. yeah if there is any Muslim would like to call us, please feel free. You know, we are talking about laying eggs these days. And obviously, Islam lay a lot of eggs here and there. And all those stories is must be true. You know, um, you cannot ignore, you know, you cannot ignore that Muhammad was very knowledgeable person, especially what's come about balls and testicles and penises and lean eggs, sex with yourself, shaitan have sex with the wife. I mean, obviously, this guy, he is something. Otherwise, how the prophet know that? Just ask yourself. There is no way a normal human being, he can come with such a knowledge. It doesn't matter how many schools you go to, you will never come to the conclusion which the prophet, bees upon him, he come to. This is a very clear sign that he is a clear prophet. Otherwise, Explain to me, please, how he was able to find out that Shaitan has sex with himself and he have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg. And, you know, always you better inspect. Like, you know, let us say if you are a female and uh, a guy come to marry you, how you know that this guy is a man? Because according to Muslims, Shaitan can come as a man. And as you see, the only way to know if he is a Shaitan or a real man is to inspect his legs so if you find a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg that mean he is the father of all shaitan i think this is very convincing do we have any muslim would like to call us as you see here this is this is the in the search engine can jinn have sex with my wife many questions 
six with store dream what I don't know what is that a female gin ruined my life what the website of Muslim one two three Muslim dot com I am really interested to know how this female genie ruined his life I, I wish I can tell you like private stories about me about how genies female joining is what they did to me in my private life but I cannot do that you know I'm shy I write this message greet in a great distress what I have been going through for the past eight months or so I would not even wish for I wish it for the worst of my enemy if, 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 if this guy he is suffering from a lot of rape from female genie to some of you this is might be hilarious and you might laugh or even make more curry of me absolutely you will not my friend however only Allah knows whatever I'm going to state here is true and harsh reality Oof. my mother uh, and the brother live together my father passed away okay give us details more I am 20 years old in age when I was 26 I often had dreams which is I used to have an intercourse with different women okay these women they were very beautiful attractive when I get up I felt satisfied and my clothes were so wet we need more details my friend I mean come on can you tell us how much wet it is is it so wet so so wet not too much wet like it's wet all over I mean give us more details I can make that's that's all the details you have how we will know okay since I was young I assumed it was it, it, it is it as my as my buddies natural lust for sex nevertheless I had a feeling that these dreams and sexual activities that occur in uh, night I had something unusual about it hold on here we are going to get serious at that point of time I did not pay attention to it and I daily hostel and bustle of life kept me away from the issue I discussed the matter with the friends and they made a mockery of me then mockery and fun made of me. And you're back. A year back. I get married to the daughter of my mother, cousin. Prior to marriage, I had seen a woman in the bathroom. She had she was of average in the look and dress in the black. I mean, look at this guy. This guy, he got married now, and he went to the bathroom. He found a woman in the bathroom dressed in black. I mean, how stressful life is. Look at this guy. Wherever he go, he find a woman. Me, I find nobody. My room is empty. My house is empty. My bed is empty. I mean, life is not fair. Why those witches don't come to my bathroom? I mean, it's not fair. A guy, he have already wives. Why this... Genie is coming to him. There's many single guys. If there's any one of you guys here single like me, and you would like to have some of those genies, female genies, with dressing in black to come to you. I like women in black. Wow, well, that's uh, that's very sexy. <laughs> By the way, why she is dressing in black? Ah, she's professional. Uh, yeah, she is very professional. Hmm. All right, all right. Let us continue. She had a smile on her face. I mean, I'm going crazy now here. Look, not only she is a lady dressed in black, he found her in the bathroom. Like, you know, th th this kind of woman, genie, you don't need even to, like, to, uh, to invite her for a dinner, for a date, spend money, take her to the movie. No, it's very easy. I mean, she's in the bathroom already. I, what, by the way, why is she in the bathroom? What she's doing there? Why not in the kitchen? I mean, bathroom? something mysterious about those women in black and she had a smile in her face that's very nice her feet were huge oh I don't want I don't want that 
Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I, I regret inviting them to my house. I don't want to see them. What? Her feet were huge? How huge? What do you mean? She's, she's, she's like a, a, what, an elephant? And all turned not like a human. If, 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 if. They are like what? I literally fainted and screamed. My family member rushed to rescue. You see, the rescue involved you. I told them the matter. My mother asked me to offer salah, which means to pray, and asked me to do some zikr, which means like uh, you know, uh, uh, it's it's a tradition of uh, praying and doing some ritual things. I start doing doing it, and I felt better. Then, then. The big day, the joy of marriage made me forget almost everything. On the first wedding night, my wife behaved in a way which I could not have never anticipated. She got rude and she pushed me away whenever I wanted to get close to her. You idiot. I told you, don't eat garlic. What's wrong with you? You want to sleep with your wife in your wooden night and now you are eating garlic. So what do you expect? Huh? Let us continue. I got upset and discussed the matter with my mother. I mean, this guy looked like he's the baby of his mom. Each time something happened to him, he go, Mom, Mom, my wife, she pushed me away and she was rude to me. What I should do? And the mother, she said to him, how she pushed you, how she pushed you, tell me how she... What? Are you a man or you are a kid? Let us continue. My mother talked to my wife. Hmm? My wife said that she did not even know what she had done with me last night. Oof, 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 oof. The wife is out of control. Every time I made Nia for intercourse, which means I, I, I prepare myself like I want to today, I want to do bing, bing, bom, bom, you know? So every day I wanted to do intercourse with my wife something unusual happened i mean this guy is a very lucky son of a gun <laughs> each time he want to do intercourse something happened that's mean he never did intercourse yet he's married but he cannot do <laughs> things started to go worse me and my wife started hear screams from the bathroom. If you see, the bathroom is the operation room for the genes. We also used to hear a woman laughing loudly outside my bedroom window. All right, that's it. Come on, which genie? That's it. I mean, leave the guy alone. Let him sleep. He want to have sex with his wife. Moreover, I used to go for intercourse with my wife. I used to see her fine faces in the front of my eyes. I used to hear her screams mostly. Now, this guy is having sex with his wife, just to explain to you what's happening here. Sit down, sit down, please. Sit down. This is very, very nasty. This guy is having sex. His wife, her windows are open. And like everything is like ping pong, really, you know. And now he, what he see? He see faces. Instead of seeing the face of his uh, wife, he see faces. What do you mean you should see the Muslim reply and get more funny? <laughs> Hold on, hold your horses, my friend. <laughs> we want to read the story. This is very exciting. Me and my wife got scared, and we had to quit sleeping in quit sorry sleeping in our uh, uh, in our room. We started to sleep in my mother's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, imagine I am a man 
and I take my wife to sleep in the bedroom of my mother with my mother Eesh, that's really so good I mean that is something it's a proof that I am a true man <laughs> hey mom can I sleep in your bed with you with my wife because the zinis are screaming in my room and doing blah blah stuff yes sure my son bring your wife where is your wife where's your wife hey Aisha come over she's very little as you know she will not take too much space in your bed anyway oh my mother got worried about the issue me and my wife start praying five times a day ah before you pray you used to pray six times a day now you pray five times a day is that what you're telling me or you not, never prayed before we read Quran truly and it started doing zikr. We tried almost everything, but we could not get rid of the evil gene. Eh, that's it. This gene is stuck with them. We went to different people to suggest the strange things for us. Okay, then. Uh, for instance, born some kind, some, some people, they suggest to them strange things like, to burn some kind of oil in the middle of the night etc and gave us some pieces of paper with a strange writing and etc and look how much he <laughs> how he paid for this is scam <laughs> he paid 4000 pakistani ruby <laughs> for a piece of paper written something in it you don't understand and suppose this will kick the genie all right uh, honestly, whatever was recommended to us, me and my wife, uh, etc., we did blah blah blah. Okay, it has been eight months, and I and my wife were not able to do intercourse. This guy is married for eight months, and until now, he could not do it. Anyone remember this is a remind us of what? Anyone remember? <coughs> Anyone remember? You might be laughing at this Muslim for it in his story, but this is exactly what Muhammad claimed. Muhammad he claimed that he was under black magic of the shaitan, and the shaitan made him imagine himself having sex, but in fact he never did. You know, read carefully. Not only this Abdul, he said that, even Muhammad himself, he told his followers that he had the same issue. The Prophet continued for such and such period of time, imagining that he has slept, had sexual relationship with his wives, and in fact, he did not. Do you see it? So it looked like this is something happened always for all Muslims. Now let us say that those things happened truly for Muslims. Let us say that this is not a fiction for the sake of argument. Why the Prophet of Islam was not protected by Allah and he is the one who say the name of Allah every day. And he is the one who recite Quran every day. And he is the messenger who see almost the angel of Allah from time to time. And Allah is watching over him. Any Muslim can answer us, <clears throat> especially the Quran confirmed that Allah is protecting Muhammad from the genie and from mankind. So, how come the protection of Allah did not work? Obviously, Muhammad is a liar, and all his fiction stories is to cover something. Muhammad, in that time, he was not able to have sex with his wives, yet he go to his neighbors and his friends, companions. And he said to them yesterday, I was doing bang, bang, bing, bong, bing, bong, bong, bing, like all of them. They said, all of them, Prophet, is all of them, brother. And then, you know, women, they talk. Those women, you know, all days, they are not educated. They have nothing to do during daytime. I mean, just a simple life, you know. So they share things together. And the news starts spreading that the Prophet, he cannot do it. He cannot do it. I mean, what you can say? 
You see, I sometimes I sing a song. It says, it says, this is how we do it. No, not this one. Where is, where is, this is how I do it. Okay, hold on. This is how we do it. Uh, no, this is how we do it in in uh, in uh, in in Nulu, not in. Where is that one? I'm trying to find the song where. Not this one too. Not this one. I don't know. I, I, that, uh, this is how we do it. Where is where is the song? This is how we do it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do it, uh -huh. do it, uh -huh. Uh -huh. do it, do it, uh -huh. do it. So this is how the prophet have sex. He never have sex. This guy he tell his friends, "This is how I do it." The prophet, are you sure? This is how I do it, and then second day they find that he never do this. Huh? What kind of a prophet this prophet is? CB just exposed his age. How, how you know my age? You must you must be one of those genies. <laughs> so this is how we do it. Oh. Muslims, you don't have sex with your wives. It is the genie doing your wives. What's wrong? The Prophet himself, he cannot have sex. You see, the funny about Muhammad, there is witnesses. Everybody do things. There is witnesses for them. Muhammad, he have no witness of anything. No witness for him seeing Allah, talking to Allah, seeing the angel, talking to the angel. There's no witness for him even he was having sex even when he have sex he have it alone even their wives is not there why any abdul <clears throat> do we have any muslim there this is how we do it i think you like the the song don't you guys uh, this is how should do you think should I uh, should I make a, a CD with my voice this is how we do it what do you think I, I think it's a good idea and it might be like number one <clears throat> in the market I, I think I'm going to stop talking about this time I will make my first CD soon <laughs> Very beautiful, Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. And hold on, I heard the sound coming from the bathroom. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of serious. What, what, what is that? Uh, any, anyone there? What, what the heck? What's happening? A genie, she is giving me pennies. <laughs> ah, she is happy with my singing. It was tips. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> this is uh, finally I was able to make money from my singing. This is the first income ever I got because I sing. Finally. Unbelievable. True story. You can find this in Sahih Bukhari Hadith. <laughs> Let us continue. Let's continue. I don't know why we stop. Why we stop? I don't know. Don't ask me. I think the genie she did something, you know, funny. <coughs> oh, 
All right, let us continue. I am sexually active. Stop. I don't want to listen no more. He is what? <laughs> I am sexually active. <laughs> This is the first time I read about a volcano, my friend. I mean, you are something. Are you sure? <laughs> Eight months, you could not have sex with your wife, and you are telling me I am sexually active. <laughs> uh, look. Oh, boy. Ah, it's hot here. He is sexually active, but he could not have sex with his wife for eight months. <laughs> Stop. Oh, boy. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> How many of you there is sexually active? <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. If the guy who is sexually active, he did not have sex for eight months. So, what about the one who is not active? Oh man. Oof. <coughs> it's getting hot from laughing. From laughing, okay. <laughs> Let me drink some water, man. This is too much. And you know the funny, <laughs> I'm looking at my screen, and in the top of my screen, it says the following. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, what, you, you, you got what? <laughs> Go back to the topic. <coughs> yeah, I got it. All right. Ah. <coughs> uh. I am sexually active and medically fit. -ish. Can you give us? A <laughs> Can you give us a report, brother? My wife has now left me. Oof. <laughs> oh boy! He is sexually active and medically he is fit. And he did not have sex for eight months, and his wife left him. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have a heart attack very soon. Oof. <coughs> I wonder why your wife left you, man. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you could not have sex with her for eight months, and she left you. I mean, she should stay for eight years or 80. <coughs> And as for divorce, hmm. my wife's relatives and parents are accusing me that I am put <laughs> and not fit for marriage. <laughs> oh, I have been socially victimized, socially victimized. At this point, my maternal life has been completely ruined. What I have been hearing, no man can bear. To hear, <sighs> life, my friend, life is full of stories. I feel the tears of this man coming like a hard, heavy rain. <clears throat> Brother, do you want a tissue? Can you stop, please, crying? It's bitter to say. The shaitan has won. If shaitan won, a guy who say Allah Akbar lose, shaitan won. My marriage is dissolved. However, the only thing that I have is faith. <laughs> Keep faith, my friend. 
now plan <laughs> I plan to get married again <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, he planned to get married again. Oh man, I better stop. I might have an attack from laughing. This is too much. I can't even breathe. <coughs> you want to you wanna get married again? Man, oh man. And then the witch will come back to your bedroom and your bathroom and she will scream and do the same voice and noise. And she will come with her huge feet. Is that what you are looking for? <laughs> and then you sleep with your mother in the bed. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> Obviously, this is a true story. And look at the comments of the Muslims. I will, inshallah, help you with this issue. What? This guy, you want to help him? Look, look, look. There's a solution. Where are you living, i.e. city? You see the important questions now? Investigations start to investigate his case. Where are you living, which city? Because if you, location doesn't matter. Location, location, <laughs> location. <laughs> I am in Lahore. Okay, now the answer. There's one more thing that I would like to ask. Uh, it is slightly technical though. How I determine whether this is a cursed by a witchcraft <laughs> magic is spell or it is more a position? Okay, uh, does the reading of the Quran can affect you negatively? Hmm? This guy he started doubting his uh, belief. Here he says, if you have any jinn problem, I advise you to go to shrine of Shah Norani. <laughs> in Polish, 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 <laughs> brother, go to the shrine. The shrine is the best place to find a solution. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let us continue. I have sent your message, brother. Please read. I have sent you a message. Where is the message? I don't see the message. Okay. This is the topic here. Look like there were no more message. That's it. Too bad, too bad. We want to read more. I mean, this is a very, very uh, true story, and it's very touchy. You know? Now, who is going to... There is a here as any single girl she would like to marry a guy. I'm not going to say his name. He cannot have sex with you for the first eight months. And he would like you to sleep with him in the bedroom of his mother if there is anyone she would like to volunteer <laughs> and if he tried to kiss you he see faces and he hear voices and supposedly those are from the genie if you are interested please leave your phone number all right and our genie will contact you <laughs> oh boy <coughs> Look, I'm searching, I'm searching for sex with genie. Look what I get in the advertising. Nafty adult toys. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Don't go there. <coughs> like, no, we better stop here. That's it. I'm going to quit this page. This is this is not what we are looking for. <laughs> the search engine is going far from what we are looking for. All right, all right. So we just give you an idea about the stupidity of Islam and what those Muslims are really deceived with. Um, if you are a Muslim and you really believe in those things, please let me know. Actually, I remember once a Muslim girl, she told me that she herself, she had sex with a genie. Uh, maybe he, she said her or her friend, I'm not sure. She witnessed that. She was watching or something like that. I think, no, she said it's her. You know what? I can search for even the video. I think it's in YouTube. <clears throat> See if I can find it. <clears throat> Here we go. I found it. Uh, 
the conference which Trump is trying to accomplish. Oh, this is not the video. No, it cannot be the video. Let us see. Yeah, this is not the video. Uh, where is the video? <laughs> Mm. I need to look. This is an old video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look like it's hard to find. It's an old video where a woman, Muslim woman, she said that she or she claimed that she had sex with a genie herself. Um, and she swear that this is a true story. She swear. I swear. <coughs> um... Yeah, it looks like it's hard to find it. You know, as you know, I have thousands and thousands of videos, so it's going to be almost mission impossible to find that fast. I don't even know what the video name was. You know, people post it. <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Anyone? Any one, any two? No, I don't know. Like, <clears throat> I think today we covered many issues, and I hope that people are taking notes and they are learning. You see, the purpose it might be funny and it's comedy, but we are not really here to make fun of anyone. But we cannot help ourselves from laughing. This is very stupid. <clears throat> I'm not I'm not really trying to make fun of the Muslims, but what I can say When the Prophet the scholars the sheikhs the Quran the hadith all of them they confirm that shaitan he can have sex with you or your wife I mean what 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 uh, what you expect me to do tough lie uh, uh, fool myself uh, Say this is true, or you know, I, I I face reality that this is madness and stupidity. You cannot run away from the truth. <clears throat> this guy, obviously, he is suffering from mental issue. He have a mental problem, and he need to see a doctor. But instead of see, finding the, the 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 problem he is suffering from, what he is trying, he is trying to convince himself that there is a genie, as Muhammad said. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes, yes, uh, Doris, you can call, no problem. Well, as you see, there's no Muslims calling anyway. Eight months, <clears throat> he could not have sex with his wife. And the excuse is, he see voices or he hear, hear voices. Hello? <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hold on, let me hit the mute here. There we go. All right. <laughs> How are you doing? Did you like the story we were reading? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Uh... <laughs> I'm not going to ask you private questions, but I hope it's not taking you eight months to finish something. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I, I hope not. <laughs> eight, eight months. Well. Well, if you think about it, if you think about it, time go very fast. <laughs> <laughs> the time go, fast. time flies. Yeah, when when you're not having fun, <laughs> yeah, time go very... <laughs> <laughs> not having fun. Um, <laughs> I guess before I, uh, I guess I need to withhold judgment until I see his wife. <laughs> <laughs> you are bad, <laughs> truly bad. <laughs> It, it may be that he would have rather deal with the gene. 
<laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I, I like uh, I saw a picture, and right away when I saw this picture, I assumed that those girls, they are suffering from the same problem. They are married to Abdul, and uh, this Abdul, he is seeing a genie. You know, look at those girls. You can tell right away that they are suffering from a husband who did not do it for eight months. <laughs> so they are so they are going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I guess so, but yeah, he's he's clearly got some sort of mental illness. Yeah, but not but not according to Islam, you know, be careful. You know, Islam says that he is fine. It is the genie, the witch, and uh, not the witch, they don't believe in witch. They you know it's a it's a, a shaitan who is a female shaitan, and obviously she wants him, you know, what he can do. And if shaitan, female shaitan, she wants you, what he can do, they cannot do anything about it. Yeah. Um have you ever had, have you ever be honest with me, have you ever have experienced like a shaitan genie she tried to do something to you? She come to you in a bedroom, bathroom, under the couch, <laughs> in, in the truck of yeah. your car, <laughs> in, well, in the trunk. <laughs> well, when I when I was a teenager, Shaitan used to come to me all the time. Oh boy, you know, Shaitan, <laughs> when I got grown, they stopped. <laughs> Please don't give us more details. Thank you. We we, we are we are moved. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we are being touched by your story. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's, life, life, life is funny. People are funny. Yeah. Uh, but it's sad at uh, the same time, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that, that is that is sad though, seriously speaking. That yeah. that is sad. He has an issue, um, a mental issue, and he need to get some help from it. But there's just there's no foundation for it where he is for him to get the kind of help that he needs. You know, if they're still pointing at Satan and stuff like that. You know, yeah, well, it, it doesn't look very hopeful. And, and and how he's going to face his problem if everybody's saying to him, agree that this is a genie and it's, you know. Yeah. No, not but the, he did say that people were, were making fun of him, though, didn't he? Yeah, well, obviously, those are not the believers. The believers, they will not. You know, the believers, they will they agree with him that this yeah. is, is a story, must be a true story. And he is not seeing, you know, something uh, based on sickness, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, his wife left him, which um, there is something that in the, in the story, in yeah, in, in the story, I could not understand if his wife she heard the voices with him, so why she left him? Because right. that's what he said. Because now she don't, she will believe him, obviously, if she heard or she saw, and the both of them they run to his mother wife uh, room. Yeah, uh, but obviously, <laughs> obviously, he was the only one who hear and you know yeah. see those things. And by the way, yeah. By the way, uh, a piece of advice um, to the Muslims and the Christians alike. You know, we, we debate here, and we don't have a lot in common, but this one we do have in common. If you're having problems with your wife, trying to consummate your marriage, going to your mother's bedroom will not help. Don't. Do <laughs> you are bad. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> not guy. if you're Muslim, not if you're Christian. Just do not do it. We have that much in common. <laughs> Stay, keep the wife out of the mother's bedroom. <laughs> I guarantee you, if I do that and I go to my mother's bedroom, she will she will beat me with her shoe. <laughs> 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 she will say, I'm ashamed to have you as my son. What's wrong with you? Are you a man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah, we hear voices. We go to the mother room. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mommy, and, mommy, and, yeah. mommy, with his wife. Yeah, mommy, mommy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it doesn't matter, <laughs> mommy, mommy, or uh, mommy. We hear uh, shaitan. Oh, yeah. It just don't do it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And the funny, <laughs> he want to get married again. Of course he does. <laughs> it's not enough what happened first time. <laughs> Maybe, maybe second marriage you can do it in, in the first several months. You never know, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, not necessarily is going to take eight months. Yeah, they didn't. Well, and he can't drink any alcohol either. He, he's just he's just stuck. <laughs> it's, it's tough. No, no, um, same. but uh, Muhammad um, himself he suffered from the same issue, which is a very clear evident that he is. If this is a true story, that he is suffering from mental issue too. 
Yeah, but Muhammad thought that he was actually having sex with his wives. Right. Well, this gets to yeah, the gin. He imagined, <laughs> but uh, both of them they are imagining, obviously. You know, but well, yeah, it's it just it's just different imagination. That one he imagined himself having sex, but we don't know he was imagining himself, himself having sex. How with who? This guy he don't imagine himself having sex. He imagined himself seeing a witch, or sorry, a genie, shaitan, whatever. Yeah, what? he's seeing things. So he he's um <laughs> he may he may actually have a bit of schizophrenia though. He he's just uh he's got a severe severe mental illness. If you're seeing you're seeing faces, you know, you're seeing things you should be having sex with your wife, but you're seeing gin the faces of monsters or whatever, you know. Madness. That's sad. Madness. <laughs> Madness um, and sad. Yeah, insane. So I, I pray for him. Hope he's that, that story was several years old. So I hope he's gotten hope he's gotten I, over I, that now. I, I wish I can get update with the second marriage, what happened, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like what is well, that yeah. <clears throat> Probably a tough match, you know. No. The word the word the word spreads. <laughs> so somebody saying he is seeing yeah. demon. No, he did not see any demon and there's you see Muslims first of all don't believe in demon and demon is uh, you know uh, some, some are Christian they mix between what Muslims believe and what what uh, Christianity teach a demon yeah. are evil spirit you know and yeah. um, they are not creatures who you can have sex with or hold them physically uh, you know uh, because when you say have sex, I mean this is sexual. Sex need needs physical body. You know, it's not uh, something spiritual. So the Muslims believe in genie, which is a physically, it's a physical being, who is created from different, let us say, fabric or material, not like a human being, and they believe he is very powerful. And they believe he have the same nature of the shaitan. He's a, <coughs> he is a shaitan. Bless Excuse you, my me. friend. I think I think there's a genie there. Be careful. Uh, <laughs> by the way, you know that if uh, when you, you sneeze, why you have to cover your mouth? No, CP. Why is that? Muhammad he said, if you don't cover your mouth, shaitan he go inside your mouth, and then he go inside you and make noises. Oh. Yeah. You, if you see. Like I don't know if sometimes you hear me when I'm doing my uh, video, you hear like my stomach talking, blah blah. You know, that's because Shaitan mm -hmm. he get in all the way and he make noises. Mostly he's farting, something like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. This is a hadith. If there is any Muslim here, he say that this is not true. Call me. <laughs> call me, and I will show you the hadith right now, right here. A Muslim he have to cover his mouth for that reason. I saw an article written by a Muslim saying the Prophet he is teaching us the manner of health and they are saying the Prophet he order us when we do sneeze we have to cover our mouth but look how they lie they make it this is about health when the fact it is about fiction Muhammad he says cover your mouth because shaitan will get inside your mouth you know mm. okay uh, but according to the Muslims in their article uh, the prophet is teaching us to cover our mouth by our hands because science discovered today that if you don't uh, uh, cover your mouth uh, uh, the germs and bacteria will spread all over and it will make people sick so look how they change mm -hmm. fiction and suddenly it become about science yeah well, <laughs> well that, that that's how they do it so. <laughs> Uh, CP, I've got a couple of questions I'd like to ask, if you don't mind. Mm, sure. Um, in your, um, the, the, I don't know what you call it, the video that you released earlier today to announce the time for this one. Yeah. Um, you <laughs> mentioned, um, that according to Islam, there'll be women available for sex in the afterlife. Yeah. But you, you made a comment in passing, and you didn't really go into it. You just made the comment in passing. Okay. You mentioned uh, that these women would be uh, locked up. Yeah. In their beds and in, in the afterlife. Right. And and when you said that, I actually was looking for more detail. Do you mean that like 
the Hurrys would be locked up or confined to certain rooms? Or do you mean like the Muslim women, if she's got a husband, you know, he'll have his whores and he'll have his wife confined to the room? Or well, the Quran, what, what do you mean? The, and where is that from? The, the Quran come from, it was speaking about the whore. However, in the interpretation, it make it clear that this is goes mm -hmm. for both the, the whore and mm -hmm. the female women who they are will become your wives in heaven. If you go to chapter 55, verse number 72, it says that those women they are going to be restrained in their tent or their their rooms uh, and they cannot leave you know they are that's it they are restrained you know okay uh, yeah <clears throat> so uh, but but those women uh, uh, not necessarily only the version however the, the verse we are talking about is mentioning the the version okay all right but in the okay. interpretation all of them they will be in one place anyway so everybody will be restrained and as you see this is the Muslim translation I don't know if you can see the screen I can see it yeah it says companions restrained as uh, to their guns <laughs> in goodly prevalence I mean what goodly and restrained and goodly. like yeah, I, will, I, will, I will put you in five stars uh, jail <laughs> <laughs> you know so companions restrained. okay so companions restrained in godly in goodly pavilions yeah so the verse says they'll be constrained uh, restrained right in pavilions yeah now I see his commentary that he tried to add add to their glances in other words they're restrained from looking at anybody else that's what he's trying to say right but uh, anyway uh, you're restrained from there. seeing anyone that's mean you cannot see anyone that's it's a jail I cannot see anyone okay, yeah well, how does yeah. that happen because you don't let me go and see I got you but but the words not there in the way he's just trying to the Quran, no, like the Quran just say, just the Quran just saying that they are jailed in their tents. The word there there is used tents. Okay. No. Yeah. Strained in their tents. Yeah. Okay, so they are simply what the Quran is saying that those are designated only for you. Nobody can see them. Nobody can reach them. Nobody they cannot get out, and they will not see anyone because they will sing for you. There is no man better than you because simply they never saw any of the man. <laughs> it's like you know it's like Aisha when she said uh, that who have uh, penis and testicles like the Prophet you know woman who of you have uh, private parts like the Prophet and then I asked the Muslim if Aisha she was a virgin when Muhammad he married her and she never slept with any other man how she knew <coughs> that Muhammad have the best <coughs> penis and testicles yeah how a woman she never she have yeah how a woman she never been with any other man he knew that he is the best and here you will see actually in my coming book how those women they will be saying to the husband each time he sleep with them you are the best <laughs> like like he's like oh yeah I am the best oh yeah you know like you are the best but they yeah. never never have sex with any man you are the only one there you know you are the best between <laughs> all mankind you know so you are the best, my friend. I mean, and the guy he will like be has so happy. So you know, obviously, uh, uh, Muhammad he, he speak to the uh, mindset of an Arab jealous man who like yes. to be the alpha man wherever he go, and uh, he don't like to have a competition. Uh, you know, if you go in the Middle East, uh, if you walk in the street in the Middle East, outside you see you don't see really anything in the garden. You don't see a garden. You see high fence. Right. You know. Uh, because mm -hmm. and and then when you go inside uh, you will see that the women who live inside the house they almost wear no clothes you know they are very open very etc mm -hmm. uh, you know why because the man he uh, want to be sure that nobody even by look or even by chance can see his females he is the rooster and they are the chickens so in okay. order to guarantee that they will not look at anyone else what we do we jail them and we maintain that jail so women when they want to go out we go and guard them we have to walk with them to be sure that my wife or my daughter or my sister will not look around and nobody will speak to her and she will not meet someone else so this is what you know this is the mentality of the Arab <clears throat> you know but okay. but not all the Arab are like this you know that this is the Arab uh, let us say it is something grow since Islam came uh, the Arab before that they were more open and more free you know but Muhammad he increased that 
that uh, yeah. uh, uh, you know madness yeah. of owning the female. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that much. Um, from hearing you say it earlier, um, that they had a uh, you you use an Arabic word for it. Basically, the women could marry multiple husbands. Yeah, zawaj al rahat. Well, yeah, zawaj al rahat. Al rahat, yes. <laughs> rahat, rahat, rahat mean a group. It's a group. So what they okay. do? Uh, uh, one woman, she uh, she will sleep around with many men, but usually the maximum is ten men. And when she gets pregnant, <clears throat> she she is the one who called the father, which means she is the one who named him. It's, it's up to her. And all mm -hmm. the other men, they don't complain. Whatever she chooses to be the father, he is the father. That's it. And so the, the men had, I take it the men could have multiple wives as well? Well, uh, you know, you can have more than one wife, but usually it was the women who have that possibility more than the men. You know? Okay. Yeah, it was, it, it was women. You see, because, uh, you know, uh, you know, the society at that time, uh, uh, you know, they, they, have a, they have a problem. And the problem, you know, every society try to solve a problem in a certain mm -hmm. way. So, uh, let us say uh, you want to get married, and in order to get married, you have to offer gifts, money, etc., mm -hmm. to the family. Mm -hmm. And if you are poor, mm -hmm. you are poor, and you cannot afford that, so then you have to find a way, a woman who like to give you opportunity to sleep with her but in the same time you will not be the person only the person taking care of the house you know uh -huh. so she had many right. husbands all of them they are husbands one come one go one go etc and you will have ability to have sex with this woman from time to time and you might get lucky and she named you as a father and then you have a child you know so it, it was a solution for for issues they have in the society uh, more than it's just a practice. There's a reason for it. Right. You know? Oh yeah. Well, all those practices <laughs> normally they're solutions to problems. Yes. Um. The, you know, a solution in a funny way, but it, this is how it is. You know, this is how it used to be. Or even if you want to have, uh, uh, let us say, uh, you have, you know, you know, someone. He is a, a poet man, very smart, mm -hmm. uh, intelligent writer, author, uh, no, from noble family. So what mm -hmm. you do, you go and ask him permission if he can sleep with your wife. And that the purpose is, so your son will be a noble person because he will have a blood of, it's like, you know, they, they consider a sexual thing is like horses, you know. Mm -hmm. So you want to have a better breed, then it's okay to let your wife sleep with someone because at the end what he care for that the son is going to be his son. He consider him as, mm -hmm. a, as a real son, they don't consider him <clears throat> they don't care really for uh, the original father what they care for he he grow in this house okay this is why we see even muhammad khadija she adopt uh, uh safwan you know sorry not uh, not safwan is a zaid so she, she adopted him because it was the tradition of the arab they don't really care much about who is he from but they mm -hmm. care for that the second i adopt you you are from my family <clears throat> you know, oh. so yeah. in order to to uh, to get a better breed, they look for a new guy to sleep with the wife. It doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't insult the man owner that his wife she is going to sleep with someone until she get a bread and then she come back home. He sent her totally mm -hmm. to live there. You know, it's not like to go to visit because they want to be sure that this is from that guy. You know, mm -hmm. so she leave the house and she is not a bread for sure. And she stay with the house of the other guy, and she will come back home when she is a Britnet only. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you will see more details in my coming okay. my coming book about those things. Okay. Yeah, because um, well, I know you've mentioned that before. Uh, back when we were in in Pal Talk, mm. heard that a couple of times. Um, and just looking at thinking about that, looking at you know more modern history for various cultures um it, it's in my opinion i i'll say 
that looks to me to be one of the major reasons why Islam actually ended up sticking. Because, you know, what what you just described, you know, that that's very, very matriarchal. You know, basically, no man is actually assured of his genetic lineage. He doesn't know whether the child is his or not. You know, when if you even look at like animal kingdoms, animals, they, they care about that. They try to make guard for that respect. So along comes Muhammad and takes a matriarchal, uh, matriarchal society and, and makes it patriarchal. I mean, you look at the stuff in the Quran, it, it's, it all adds up to, hey, men, you fight for me and you'll have women, more women than you can possibly deal with. And no one can take them from it. I mean, that's that's the sum total of it. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. even in the afterlife, if you die, you still have it. It's Islam. And now, now go fight. <laughs> yeah, because because the man, he is the one. What he need, Muhammad, he need the man. He don't need the woman. You know, right? Because he needs to fight. He needs. Yeah, he need warriors. He need fighters, and those are the one who will kill and die. So we need to give him a reward. What is the reward? Right. Is women, men, you know. And not only that, the Arab they like to drink as an example. So Muhammad he promised them in the heaven he would have rivers of wine. This is why alcohol is mentioned in the Quran as a reward. Otherwise, why you know why want to drink alcohol there? You know, this is heaven. So he 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 gave them the opportunity to have many wives in the earth and have full control of them to the point he can beat them, the, the husband. He can have six slaves as many, there's no limit. He can have a, a million, ten million. There's no limit. Right. Four wives and limited slaves. Uh, so the man now he have his position is preserved in the society the women they are just to fulfill the desire of those men uh, mm -hmm. and to promote the religion and to bring babies you know yeah uh, they have children right who can yeah. turn fight and now Muslims are they... attacking other nations you know or other tribes killing the husbands so now there's more even women are available Mm -hmm. So we have to make them, give them a license, either to have more wives or to have more slaves. So right. that was was another uh, 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 way uh, to make the men attractive, attractive to to go to war. Like if you go to war now with Muhammad, and I did not go, you come second day and you have like ten beautiful young girls with you. I would mm -hmm. say to myself, I was stupid. Why I did not go? You know, and yeah, then you, you come with like. Uh, yeah, you come back with ten pieces of gold and uh, clothes and uh, horses and etc. You take your shares. So uh, 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 I did not go. I did not get. You know. So now uh, uh, this is was an, a way to encourage everyone to go and die for the sake of Muhammad to get the reward. Right, right. And so <laughs> if you go, you come back with women. If you stay, the only guy who loses out is the one who didn't fight. Because right. if you die, right, you got you got horrors if you. Live, you you got sex slaves and gold and what have you. You are a winner anyway, yeah. based on the yeah. on the faith. You are a winner <laughs> anyway because if you die, you get the virgins. Right. If you don't and die, if you live. You get the slaves. Yeah, you get uh, slaves. You get money. You get your shares. You get anything right. you, you you wish to have in this earth, uh, land, the property. You know, you will see that Muslims who invade many countries, they used to be nothing in their land, and then suddenly they became princes in in the other people land. You know. Uh, like the the ruler of Egypt, this guy he was a homo. Uh, he was from a bad family. Uh, mm. He's nothing, but Muhammad he hired him to be the leader, and send him. You know, uh, all those all those people they became leaders, but they are no one. The cali the caliphate, uh, you know, uh, M Mecca is a small village, so imagine from this small village. We, we, there is a caliphate for the Bani Umayyah who, who ruled in Damascus and controlled a huge area in his time, all the way to Spain. Even Spain under their control. There's a bad, okay. there's a bad noise behind you. I'm not sure what is that. Maybe, uh, maybe I, I, was behind, I thought it was behind you. <laughs> uh, not, not from me. I think it's coming. Anyway, it's our time is up. It's, yeah. it, it's good to go for now. I hope that people here, they, they enjoy uh, being with us and they learn something good for today uh, okay okay I, I'll um, try tomorrow to to be on when are we back to, I don't know really uh, I'm, try, I'm trying uh, to do more videos as much as I can so if I can do tomorrow I will okay. do tomorrow you know people they will be informed. okay 
but uh, I will try my best always to have uh, Wednesday as we do before and Friday okay. and we add Saturday and Sunday you know okay so those are like will be mostly I would do them for sure mostly if I you know unless there is something so Wednesday Friday Saturday Sunday and then during the week if I can do I will I will be happy to be here okay I do that because because I'll try it again the next video because I have another question I wanted to ask you all right so, and I, I hope uh, okay. you know things will be fine with you like uh, in the coming eight months yeah. well I, I think so I just had my college degree installed just say hi to mom <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh no you're not gonna put that one on there no. <laughs> all right there's friend. is not going to his mother's bedroom <laughs> all right thank you for coming. until next time thank you CP. thank you take care have a blessed day bye-bye all right guys I want to say thank you for being here I hope today we have a good time together and uh, I hope that the comedy was was good enough to, to show you how and why we say Islam is a stupid religion it is a stupid religion and you will be stupid if you don't see the stupidity of this cult I will leave that to you it's up to you to decide if this cult is made by a mad stupid man or by a smart man if you think he is don't forget to leave your comment about the video about what you heard and if you are a Muslim please subscribe and try to call me when you are live on air or always when we are live on air my Skype is open for anyone to call me call me only when I am live on air don't call me when I when I go off when I go off I quit Skype so you will not you will be wasting your time trying to call so call me <clears throat> when I am on, on air and I will be happy to take your phone call before the Christians because we care really for the Muslims and we like them to get the right and the truth about what we believe and about what they believe thank you for being with us may the Lord bless you all Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye